You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time now for the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. And we've got him on the phone today. How you doing, Dan? Well, I'm doing uh, doing uh, pretty well. Thanks, thanks for making the connection here, laying laying low a little bit. You know, getting some things done. Well, we're excited to have you on the phone with us today. At least we got some cool stuff happening on the seventh of January. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This day in history, uh, boy, it's a darn big one. It was 1782. You guys, <clears throat> 1782, the very first U.S. commercial bank, the Bank of North America, opened in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Up until yeah. that point, we just took all of our money and, like, squirreled it away under our bed, right? Yeah, and people would trade, like, chickens for pies or goats for whatever, yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, <laughs> it would be really just the following day, the same bank immediately started offering credit cards a 22% interest and a 45 <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have actually seen this little film clip. This is just kind of incredible. It was 1894, a five-second film <clears throat> shot by Edison Manufacturing featuring a uh, shot of Fred Ott sneezing. Oh, yeah. That was the very first film ever copyrighted. Nice. Yep. It would be a sequel. came out a year later titled Bless You. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, then Disney bought the rights to the whole franchise, and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, we will be uh, chatting with you again here in a moment. D- can you stay on the line, or do you want us to call you back? Yeah, I can. There's some big things happening around uh, Sioux Falls. Apparently, Sunday night at the Golden Globes, uh, Hollywood got blown up by Ricky uh, Gervais, and uh, we'll see if I can hunt up Ranger Dan here shortly. That sounds That'd be good. great. Again, you're listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris right here on Sunny 93.3. When was the last time you got a new credit card? If you have a card that's been in your purse or wallet for a long time, you should check and see if you're getting the best rates. You may find a better credit card that will give you the points you want or cashback options you don't get right now. At BetterCreditCards.com, you see all the major credit card companies and their best offers. Let them compete to earn your business. And if the one you have right now is better, keep it. Find a card that's a better fit for you at bettercreditcards.com that's bettercreditcards.com faith freedom and the best music of the 80s and 90s you are listening to sunny 93.3 it's time now for ranger dan's critter corner well i'm rough tough and ready i'm a heck of a man eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan he's ranger dan he's here i'm ranger dan well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks run over possums in my government truck he's ranger dan he's here I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good, Good morning, Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. <laughs> you old buckaroos, little Ranger buddies. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi. Ranger Dan. <laughs> Smell good for a girl, even over the phone. <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's the nicest morning, thing John. anyone's ever said to Heidi. <laughs> hey, you little radio rangers, gather around the radio. We're here to lay a critter, little critter knowledge on you, and we're gonna we're gonna cover a little territory that perhaps we haven't covered before, so it should be pretty darn exciting. Here we go. As you know, Ranger Dan loves loves all the critters, but uh, you know, there's another part. Of God's creatures, great and small, in the great outdoors, and of course around South Dakota. I'm sure you've either maybe done it yourself or heard about it, or you've got a crazy uncle that does it. And uh, some of these, uh, some of these things are well. A lot of God's little critters are pretty darn tasty, and that's why God invented hunting. Nice, that's right. Well, here in South Dakota, of course, we got our pheasants. You got your deer hunt. You got your occasional squirrel, maybe a beaver, a possum, feral cats. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's winter. Cold and most of those hunting seasons, well, they come to a halt as of January 1st, so most critters in South Dakota are kind of off limits for the next several months. But you know, your old buddy Ranger Dan, he prefers beef. Oh, yeah. And if you've never traveled even a mile or so outside the Sioux Falls city limits, you've likely seen beef in their natural state. They're called cows. <laughs> now, truth of the matter is, cows are pretty darn plentiful, so 
Ranger Dan, Ranger Dan Enterprises, is pleased to announce the upcoming first annual Ranger Dan Beef Cow Hunt. Now, here's the deal. <laughs> a dozen, dozen lucky little radio rangers are going to be eligible to win a no-expenses-paid overnight trip across the border to a remote <laughs> no block right outside Worthington, Minnesota. Nice. No above, expenses. You know, I can already smell the prime rip. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Bad boys will be on the hoof, and we're going to go after and be listening for uh, details upcoming as, as soon as we work some things out. That's all the time we have this morning. Uh, you know, the drill stands. Go, go to church, say your prayers. Each vegetable's up at o'clock an hour. I can't do that crack. Just raise your damn out. Yes, sir. Again, Ranger Dan's Critter Corner exclusively on Sunny 93.3. It's a new year. Have you made a resolution to quit drinking or to finally get away from drugs for good? These are both habits that are hard to kick, but you can do it. We want to help you. Timeforrehab.com is here to help you find the help you need with your particular situation. If you want to make this year the year you get the help you need to live a normal life again, start with a little help from us. At timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3. It's time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. Mr. Dan Ferris back, not in the studio, but on the phone with us. How you doing, sir? I'm doing doing really well. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. You know, this, uh, this story blew up big time, and I'm sure most folks are aware of it, but it's worth noting again. I just think this is such an amazing deal. You're familiar with... Merle and Roy's paving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, been around for uh, for quite a while. Well, more than 100 employees, in fact, closer to 120 employees who work for Merle and Roy's got a nice little Christmas gift. Uh, Merle and Roy's paving handed out $10 million in bonuses. How that cool is, is that? That is amazing. I absolutely love that. That is incredible. Now, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what the criteria was, but usually it's based on tenure. How long have you been with that company? And from what I understand, uh, somebody who just started, say, last week got like 5000 <clears throat> Some employees Jeez. got up to $400,000. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. For a little Christmas bonus. So, But that is tough work. My older brother, Uggs, he did, uh, he did asphalt in the Twin Cities for a while. It's, it's, it can be quite a grind, and that's what ownership was saying. These people work really hard. The company's come a long way, and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty unique. So 120 employees. Yeah, that's million beautiful. Then the offside, I did a little digging because I am a totally non-award-winning investigative reporter. <laughs> <laughs> what happened uh, with those bonuses, they're now down to 23 employees and spring's coming and they're hiring. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you were just handed a check for 400 grand, you don't have to mess with asphalt anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Much as I appreciate this, almost half million, and nah, I'm not not playing with tar anymore. Thanks, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what is going to happen there. <laughs> well, I, I, well, who knows? You know, I'm an investigative reporter, so I'll stay on the story until I forget about it. I appreciate that, Dan. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to chat with you about some uh, entertainment news here in a bit. All right. Big stuff brewing, man. Very cool. Now, I've got another call to make here first. I've got a, an, an, a, one of the comedians from Snow Jam Comedy Festival on the way. Thanks for listening to Sunny 93.3. Want to make your sweetheart smile next month for Valentine's Day? Find some fun matching shirts at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. We have a whole collection of fun shirts for you lovebirds. My wife rocks. My man rocks. We also have many silly shirts that will make you smile any day of the year. My ex-wife was a trophy wife. Participation trophy. Find something fun for a loved one, friend, or for yourself at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show. We've got one of the comedians from the Snow Jam Comedy Festival joining us right now. We have J.C. LaFontaine. How are you doing, J.C.? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic, and we're excited to have you come join us here in Sioux Falls for the Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Where are you uh, right now? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Montreal, Quebec, up in uh, Canada. So for you, this weather is just like any day of the week for you, right? 
Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I was. Uh, I've all. I've had a couple of people tell me, "Why don't you go somewhere that's maybe warmer than Canada for uh, <laughs> comedy?" But no, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. I've never been to South Dakota. Well, we're excited to have you come join us. I've talked to some comedians from like Southern California. They're not quite as excited to come here because you know they're going to be cold, <laughs> but. You're gonna you're gonna be chilling with us uh, just like you do every day. So let's talk a little bit about your pack already. Absolutely, let's talk a little bit about your uh, comedy career. How long have you been doing stand up comedy? Uh, it's gone about six years now. And what was it that that made a good girl like you decide I'm going to get on stage and talk to a bunch of strangers about stuff? I lost a bet. Oh no, kidding! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my one of my good friends is a comedian, um, and we were out for dinner once, and he just kind of said, "Okay, if uh, you know." This whatever happens is a long story. Basically, I lost. Um, and yeah, ended up doing a show at uh, the Comedy Nest here in Montreal. That's awesome. And and over the course of the last six years, have have you really enjoyed doing this? Oh yeah, I love it. I mean, everything about it. Just the people you work with, the towns you get to visit, getting on stage and making people laugh. It's just, obviously it's addictive because for losing a bet, I kept going with it. So the bet wasn't you need to do this for a career. It was just you had to do it once, but you chose to keep doing it. Yeah, exactly. So if people would like to maybe hear you before you get to town, is there like a place online they can go and and listen to your comedy? Uh, For sure. I have one video on uh, YouTube. I'm more of a person that I'd prefer to see them at my shows live. But if you must, uh, yeah, I have a video on YouTube um, that has a little bit older material. Don't want to give it all away. There you go. So th- that's uh, one way to find you. And then uh, are you on all the different social medias if people want to follow you there as well? Absolutely. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all uh, J.C. LaFontaine, J-A-C-Y uh, LaFontaine. Um, same one, same handle for all of them. That is fantastic. And also the uh, Snow Jam Comedy Festival. I would encourage folks to follow them on social media. And if you'd like to get tickets, they are still available right now. Snowjamcomedyfest.com. It's coming up in Sioux Falls, January 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Uh, if you'd like to get tickets, they're available now. And it's all benefiting Special Olympics of South Dakota. So it's a great thing to do where you're going to be doing good for others and having a darn good time and seeing fun people like JC there. JC, thank you again for joining us in Sioux Falls, and thanks for chatting with us on the radio today. It was my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to the festival and seeing all you there. Absolutely. Again, J.C. LaFontaine, one of the many funny comedians you'll be seeing at Snow Jam Comedy Festival. It's coming up January 23rd, 24th, and 25th in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. All of the details and tickets available at snowjamcomedyfest.com. Student loan debt is out of control for many people. Are you one of them? The average graduate walks away with anywhere from 25000 to 40000 in student loans. Believe it or not, 2% even manage to owe over $100,000 by the time they graduate. If you have several different student loans, let us consolidate them into one loan and one payment at singlestudentloan.com. If you have only one student loan, we may be able to offer you a better rate to help you get that loan paid Paid off sooner at singlestudentloan.com. That's singlestudentloan.com. Faith, freedom, and the best music of the 80s and 90s. You are listening to Sunny 93.3, and it's time right now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Oh, because celebrities are fabulous! fabulous. Okay, you've heard about it by now. Uh, the 2020, the Golden Globe Awards, Sunday night. Yeah. Ricky uh, Ricky Gervais came out and just blew Hollywood up. It was, it was awesome. Crazy, yeah. The monologue was a uh, huge. Well, if you were a dog, you would have tilted your head and just kept it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what Tom Hanks did, by the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's there's been some blowback on it. Whatever, whatever. My guess is uh, he probably won't be invited to do it again. Now, being a reporter, of course, it is my job to always be neutral, in the middle, remain unbiased, totally non-judgmental, and that's what I do. But if someone out there could maybe in Sioux Falls Finance, maybe erect a life-size bronze statue of Ricky included in this year's <laughs> Sioux Falls Sculpture Walk, <laughs> preferably placed on a really nice pedestal directly right smack dab in the middle of the intersection of Ninth and Phillips, I wouldn't trouble <laughs> about it, so... <laughs> But again, I have to remain unbiased and and non-judgmental. <laughs> that's what I know. That's, well, that's my really... entire report. That's it. 
Well, we, we really do hope you can scratch up the bail money so you can join us in studio tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was hoping I was hoping that wouldn't be addressed, John. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts and prayers your way, Dan. <laughs> All the people in here dress alike. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We'll talk to you later, Dan. (laughs) Again, Dan Ferris. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3.